An easy decision for him to come here to Pullman. He leads the top passing offense in the country. Better than 40 points per game. It is incomplete, nearly intercepted. So on second and ten, they go to the ground for the first time, and it's James Williams into the teeth of the defense. And handled all. Looking at a third down and five on the first possession for the Cougars. Travell Harris in motion. Washington rushes only three, so Minshew with time, and he delivers it. For Washington State through the years, the last five Apple Cops, seven touchdown passes to 12 interceptions. Dragicevich hits it off the side of his foot. They work out of the eye on the first play. Miles Gaskin, who's been a huge part of Washington's success over the last few years, especially in this series. 380 yards and seven touchdowns in his three games against Washington State, and that includes those numbers last year in Seattle. He's been Mr. Reliable, especially in this series, and I suspect he's going to get a lot of touches in today's game, in tonight's game, because of the weather, but also because they've been effective and the size advantage Washington has on the Washington State defense. He leaves after one play, replaced by Sean McGrew. Jake Browning's first throw hits Ty Jones. Slips it. Has. Look for the multiple tight end sets throughout the course of the game. You're looking at three tight ends in the game right now. Gaskin back in. He's got it again. Surge from that offensive line. Last year, 328 rushing yards for Washington in that blowout win in Seattle. Cougars show, show pressure on second down with the play clock winding down. They barely get it off. It's Gaskin with a first down. Got a tight end and Kate Otten lined up as a fullback, leading the way for another Gaskin run. Who's got room off the left side? Stays on his. Savan Ahmed, their best big play threat at running back in for the first time on second and three. Look at the Washington State defense all up around the line of scrimmage. There might be some opportunities on the outside to take a shot. And set straight downhill. And Ahmed's first run goes for close to a first down with Skyler Thomas and Jahan Woods combining in the tackle. And you hear the whistle. Blowing that dead before Peyton Pelour took it. Gaskin back in there. Already his fifth carry. Not much room this time. It's the sixth. He's filling that gap trying to make a play. Don't see a lot of this. Empty set for Washington. And a flat. Full start. Offense number seven. Smallest power five stadium in the country. That helped Washington State win 13 in a row here. Second down and long. Browning setting up the screen. Andre Bocelli gets a couple of blocks into the better quarterbacks in the Pac-12 this year in handling this situation. They run it on third and eight. Gaskin needs the 13. Slips a tackle to get it. Knock against him is he's five foot ten, 190 pounds. Already within a yard of 5,000 for his career now. He'll have a chance to crack 5,000 here. He might need another. He's in the red zone this year. Lined up to the top of the screen. On second and ten, Browning well protected. Zips one into the end zone, picked off by Skyler Thomas. Washington State stands up, backed into its own end, intercepting Jake Browning. First time in his storied career he's been picked off in the red zone. The second interception of the season for Skylar Thomas. Watch him right here. He's going to have vision the whole way seeing it. And if I know that tendency of Ty Jones, you better believe Tracy Clay is the defensive coordinator for Washington State knows it too. And they know they're going to be targeting him early on just for his career and what he's accomplished. 37 wins more than any quarterback in Pac-12 history. Uh, flag flies as Levi Onzerike jumps off sides. Steven Strimling, head referee tonight. Number 95 of the defense in the neutral zone, causing the offense to move. Five yard penalty remains for the least penalized team in the Pac 12. Called for a couple already tonight. 
Oh, it makes it first and five. The freshman Max Borgie swings out. Minshew looked his direction, but it was taken away, so he takes off, which he does well. Pressure on that defense. Keep them honest. Just establish the threat. First down from the 31. Washington shows pressure. And Borgie's first carry goes for a short gain. And this Maybe the best pass protection offensive line in the country. On second down and eight, they'll look to protect Minshew. They'll dump it off for Borgie, trying to run away from Burke Curvin, and does. He's got a first down into From the 45-yard line, play action. Minshew gets through his progression. Here's Calvin Jackson coming off a career game where the first-year Juco transfer had two touchdowns as part of that 69-28 route against Arizona. Probably most famous for his time on last chance U. But all these wide receivers for Washington State have ability. They rotate them all. And it's, it's what makes this offense so hard to stop. Their tendency is to pass, but they don't have a tendency necessarily to go to one particular player. Second and short. And Shue again facing a three-man rush. Here's Williams out of the backfield. Sidestepping a defender. First down and more to the 20. Cougars on the move with a first down to the 21. Minshew quickly throws low. Kyle Sweet, the team captain on his field. And it may be based on the view that we had was going to be hard to overturn. Nothing definitive. Minshew making a change. Williams flips sides. Wide snap. He's able to haul it in and burrow ahead. Illegal substitution on the offense. Number 17 and number 5 left the field and then re-entered without staying out for a down. Five-yard penalty, third down. Third down. Juggles the snap, brings it in, scans the field with all day to throw, keeping his eyes downfield, now takes off and slides. He'll be spotted where the slide began, which is a touch. So here we go. Fourth down and one. Keep an eye on Desmond Patton. He's six foot four, 220 pounds. He's got a size advantage on most cornerbacks. Minshew leaning up near center. A wide snap, and it will spell doom on this possession for Washington State. Both offenses here in Pullman. It's a charming town hosting this one. 111th Apple Cup, which has Miles Gaskin running on first down. He's a physical runner, too, even though he's not that big. Listed at 5'10", 193. Senior out of Linwood, Washington. Back-to-back -back carries to open this drive. This one shot into Nick Harris. Ready to snap it on third and two. Option play. Browning cuts it upfield and gets a first down. Last drive. Play action on first down with his eyes downfield. He'll heave one for Andre Bocelli through the snow inside the 20. A perfect. I knew I wanted to go to Washington. I knew I wanted to play for Chris Peterson. I want to get that process started. They hustle out of the huddle here and an end around. Savan Ahmed, blocker in front. Inside the 10. It's get any better than this. By the way, they got all these big tight ends, and keep an eye on number one, Hunter Bryant. First and goal straight ahead, Miles Gaskin spinning his way in. Touchdown, Washington. The Huskies strike first. Extra point coming from Peyton Henry. And it's 7-0 Washington. Closing seconds of this first quarter. Peyton Henry to kick it to Travell Harris. Couple of freshmen. With the wind into the end zone. Harris stumbling still tries to bring it out. Almost broke through. If indeed that scenario played out, and obviously Northwestern winning the Big Ten Championship, that would do a lot for the Cougars. Likely the final play of this quarter is shut down as they flip it to. This is an untimed down because of a penalty on that final play of the first quarter, or what looked like was the final play. Ship game to take on Utah next week. Gardner Minshew on a draw play. Max Borgie breaks a tackle. Gets so to this case, that'd be the top of your screen. 
They're down in seven for Washington State. Pressure coming out of the secondary. Here's Tay Martin trying to get around Jordan Miller. A flag flies and the drive is extended. Those two going back and forth. It's chippy already and we've still got three quarters to play. When Gardner Minshew likes to take a shot. It's either Tay Martin or Desmond Patman. There was a lot of pushing and shoving. And throwing, right? Yes, and, and obviously the wind has died down too, which is your biggest concern. Play action on first down. Here is Williams out of the backfield. The Cardinal. Second and seven. Underneath. That is Kyle Sweet. They're down in two. Nobody in front of that offensive line for Washington State. What an odd look for Gardner Minshew to scan. They run right at it. Jalen Johnson grabbed the hold of James Williams and a bad snap derailed it. Fourth down and one again. Straight ahead again and James Williams moves it unique in this group. With a fresh set of downs, Minshew swings it out. James Williams hemmed in and nice. He does well. Their cornerbacks are complete players. They cover and they can tackle. Team leading 72nd catch of the year for Williams, breaking his own school record. And again, just a three man run. So Minshew time to slide, but staring into eight men in coverage, so he has to throw it away. Had five sacks last year. They had 19 sacks over the last five years in this rivalry. Showing pressure from Taylor Rapp. They bring it, but it's just a four man rush. So again, there's time, and it's Williams out of the backfield. If Washington at some point throughout this game doesn't try to go for one of these. Good high spiraling punt into the end zone. This year before injuring his back four days before the opener and pressed into a much bigger role than anybody expected here tonight. From the 20, they begin with a play action pass. Browning again with his eyes downfield out of the backfield. Hunter Bryant. Extremely athletic. From the 47 yard line, here's Gaskin. Somehow able to slip his way through. In the country this year in red zone percentage. Second and two from the Washington State 45. Gaskin again. Palour met him in the hole. Gaskin finishes four. Here they've just been tougher. Out physical. Is that a yeah? That's the phrase. Yeah, he right? made it say one. that. Yeah. Okay. Browning to throw. Good field in the pocket. Now steps up and gets tripped up. Being second and ten, or second and 11, 12, he, he finds a way of getting a few yards to put them in more second and management. Here at second and seven. He swings it to Ahmed out of the backfield. Gets a block in front. And another hits the sideline. Ahmed inside the 20 and steps out of bounds at the 16. First down Washington 24 yards from the sophomore. It's just a swing screen. They find all types of created ways to get Savon Ahmed the football out in space. And look at the blocking downfield. K dot in the tight end. He helps seal the way. And then it's really Ahmed's speed to get to the outside. The question is, did he step out? And yes, sir, it looks like he did. Boy, well, some confusion there. It looked like either Browning turned the wrong this way. undersized Washington State defense. Smoke and mirrors and speed for the Cougars. On second down, Browning tucks it. He'll take off. He has room. He's inside the 10. He's close to a first. Third and one. Everybody packed in tight. Browning to sneak it. First down and goal. Three tight ends in the game for Washington. What a catch on a high snap. Gaskin spins, reaches for the goal line. And in. Touchdown. Ready for the extra point. Washington has a 14 0 lead. Miles Gaskin, two more touchdowns. You got to figure they win the Cal game if he's available, right? Yeah. Short kick giving Travell Harris a chance. One of the top kick returners in the country has some room and has plenty of speed. A chance to show it off, but lost the football as he crossed midfield. Into this game, and that's really on Gardner Minshew to respond. Nation's leading passer less than 100 yards so far. Hands it off to Max Borgie, who's got different for Washington State team. It's lost five in a row to Washington. Looking for their first trip to the Pac-12 championship. Here's a dump down from Borgie. Elijah Molden 
slowed him down, and then the rest of the defense rushing and long drives as far as number of plays. Productive, just not exceptionally explosive offensively. On third and short, Minshew, time to scan. A man comes open underneath. That's Calvin Jack. Mechanics. Both running backs in there on first and ten. It's a shovel pass that is read beautifully. Minded to develop. And I think even in Washington, they said he's slowly come on, and all of a sudden, the past few weeks, the light switched. Second down, 14. Minshew flush this time. On the edge with his eyes downfield. Across the 35, looking for his first points tonight. Borgie can't get away. First to get there was Ben Burke. Jameer Calvin is at the top in the slot. All right, Bell motions across. Minshew retreating, scanning, well protected with all day to wait for somebody to come free. His name is Calvin Jackson. A big first down pickup for the coup. Calvin Jackson had 11 catches in his first nine games. He's got 13 over the last two and a half. So fresh shut it down. It's Minshew in trouble. Heaves to the sideline. Kyle Sweet gets popped by Minshew. Very effective, very efficient. There's not a whole lot there in the way of yardage. Play action. Minshew slides. Still looking. Dump it off for Borgie. Who's pulled down inside the 20 by three. Minshew underneath again. That's the first catch for Desmond Patman. And it sets up first down. It's hard to find passing lanes. And Minshew all season has been really effective, even in these tight spaces. They're one of the top red zone teams in the country. They hand it to Williams, who gashes it. Touchdown, Washington State. Boy, they needed it badly. And they got it from the junior. Big left tackle, Andre Dillard, who's one of the best in the country. Washington State gets sure to look at a 14 nothing deficit going into halftime thinking here we go again It's a line drive of a kick taken by one of the up men The ball comes out Washington State's got it Desmond Patton recovers at the 26 That gives it back to Washington State first down from the 26 Minshew again underneath Max Borgie stumbles Second and down in seven As they've done much of the half, just a three-man rush. And as Minshew's done much of the half, gets rid of it. It was not running. We'll put it at 25 and we'll start on my ready. All right. To third and seven. Closing seconds of this first half in the 111th Apple Cup. Minshew taking a shot to the end zone. A jump ball. And it's picked off by Byron Murphy. And so Washington's defense able to ensure that that special teams miscue doesn't bite them. And the Huskies are primed to take the lead into the break. Well, in these conditions, there's no gimme that you're even going to make a field goal if indeed this ends up incomplete and you have the opportunity to. But this is the risk you take when you essentially throw up a Hail Mary. Maybe the one of the smaller guys. Weather. The swings and momentum over these first, first Rose Bowl since 2000. Washington State looking for a school record 11th win in their first trip to the Pac-12 championship game. Maybe two touchdowns for Miles Gaskin in that first half. All 11 men defensively within about eight yards of the line of scrimmage for Washington State, helping them slow Gaskin on this first play with G. Out of an empty set, Jake Browning threw it just six times during the first half. He's in trouble, but a whistle. Well, a whistle didn't come until late. There was a flag down around the line of scrimmage. Utilize to get the football to Savant Ahmed, the man in motion. Part of the trips to the top now. They get it in his hands. Washington stayed all over it with Peyton Potter shutting it down. Aaron Fuller's been quiet today. He's the leading wide receiver coming into the game. That yeah, doesn't have a catch yet. Third and 16. 
Only a three-man rush. Brownie with time to skin. I'll step up. Let it go. Hitting a crossing. Hunter Bryant. A first down and more. On his feet into Washington State territory. Boy, have they been missing. At that size. Finished last year third on the team in receptions. What a huge get to be able to have him back. Two catches. 84 yards in this game. Ahmed comes in motion. This could be a trick play. Fuller on a double pass. That's a Washington touchdown. Right back to Bryant. You think with weather like this, you throw out those special plays in the playbook. Not the case whatsoever. Bush Hamden pulls one out. And it's all about the lateral here. And then you're going to see Hunter Bryant. He's going to release downfield and gets lost and really caught up in everything. And this was set up by a play earlier you, in this uh, You said watch out for Aaron Fuller, who's been quiet. Is that what you had in mind there? Yeah, of course. Right. I mean, a wide receiver pass, double uh -huh. pass. Yeah. Yeah. That one's blocked and headed the other way. There goes Hunter Dale looking for two. Tevis Bartlett trying to chase him down and save two points to no avail. Every point matters. And you better believe those two points are going to be important. Now the rest of this game finishes. Flips it by a field goal. Instead of a 14-point game, it's 11. And let's take another look. This looked like this ball wasn't going to get up anyway. I mean, that, that's just a low kick. It wasn't too tough to, for anyone to block. And then you see Hunter Dale taking advantage. Now, he's getting loose on the Palouse. Everyone was really just enjoying an opportunity to be together. But not an easy night on a camera crew shooting through this, doing a fantastic job. There's a short kick that Travell Harris takes. And bumps at about number one rule of playing quarterback. Start the second half with a dump down. James Williams. So now 11, 11. versus Arizona. Yeah, so five players with a catch today. They had six players with a touchdown catch against Arizona. Williams swings out, opens up a void, but instead he's a sippy boy, Gardner Minshew, not that bad. <laughs> Third down. They bring four on the slant. First catch of the day for Tay Martin. We got off to such a great and Miller lost his footing when he tried to break on the pass. Forty one quarterback draw and sure stumbling now it's been more too high in the second half one of the staples of the defense this year has been preventing big plays they do that as well as any defense in the country in trouble here spiked into the ground there's still no signal now the flag comes out it's intentional grounding is Greg Gaines the most experienced player on that defense got to it. Washington State, Borgie. It's pretty good out in space when he gets it. Here it is. Borgie needs to get it to the 49 in Washington territory. But he's been one of the best in the country when given the opportunity. It's a good one. It sends Fuller back inside his own 15 and great. Perhaps a trip to the Rose Bowl. They've not gone since 2000. They open this drive with a toss to Miles Gaskin. He looks to cut it back to 14. The hard thing about that play, too, is Hunter Bryan, given the fact how much he's been out, only had three catches coming into the game. They empty it out here and throw a screen for Andre Bocelli. He's got room. He's able to slip a tackle and break free across the 40. But 116. It's been the big plays. He's seen a number of them so far. Back into the pistol on first down from the 45 and a gaping hole for Miles Gaskin. That's just too easy. I mean, Gaskin might be the size of the Mini Cooper. You could have driven a Mack truck through that thing. There is a flag down. Maybe that's why. Replay first down. So that's why you could drive a Mack truck through it. <laughs> Let's take another look. Check a look at the left side of your screen. I believe that's where it comes from. Significant okay. penalty there instead of second down and short. First down and about 17 back in their own territory. 
Into the short side, Gaskin waits for the blocks to develop. Gets one from Luke Wattenberg. Holding that shoulder. Remember, he missed two games with a shoulder injury. Leaves. Ahmed comes in, motions out. Browning throwing the screen back to Bocelli. They broke off a big play on this one earlier. Washington State was all into where that sidewalk's going to be. Penalty has set him back. Third and 15. Oh, the cushion down on the bottom of the screen to Ty Jones. Browning looking the other direction. In trouble. Lost the football. Washington State scrambling for it. And they've got it. Willie Taylor, the redshirt freshman, knocked it out of there. And the Cougars in business. We talked about it at half. Ball security is going to be paramount. And this is a case where Browning takes off one hand. And he's waving it around. And it ends up being Willie Taylor knocking it out. There's Dylan Sherman able to fall on the football. Handed off to Borgie. Smallest of holes. He's able to sneak through it initially, but not a whole daring to Washington State to do something they don't do a ton of run the football. Minshew hits the crosser. He's up Winston. First catch of the game. First down. Between him and the next defender. They can still get a first down here. It's first down and 10 from the 11 yard line. James Williams, big hole inside the five. Right. Take a delay, back him up, get him a little more space. Second down and inches. They go back to the ground. Williams fighting. Looks like he's got a first down, but Ben Burke. Right back to the ground. Williams sticks the nose down. The ball might have come out. It did. Now they signal touchdown. It's a touchdown for James Williams, his second of the game. No question, replay will take a look. That's a touchdown. The key's going to be does he have possession of the football when he crosses the goal line? It's going to be hard to tell. Yeah, and I believe that's pretty definitive. It's really the ball pops out when he lands on the ground, and at that point, is already a foot in the end zone. Yep, that's a touchdown. Yeah. Even through the snow. There would be nothing clearly. there, yeah, definitive that would ever overturn that. So now the question is do you chase some points here, go for two, and try and make it a three point? The ruling of touchdown is confirmed. Wouldn't be surprised if he they didn't find a way of getting the football. Travel Harris stumbles as he goes in motion. Minshew looks left first, now rolls to his right, back of the end zone. That's caught, but out of bounds. He went for East South. Yeah, it'll be 11 Eastern tomorrow morning, coverage beginning. 20 to 15 here in the Apple Cup. Sean McGrew watches this one sail over his head. The reason they have absolutely dominated the Cougs the last few years. A little different story tonight. A little different story on the scoreboard, too. The freshman tight end, Kate Otten, going nowhere. I couldn't <laughs> speak. I'm glad you're okay, Bruce. I was worrying about you. Second down and long. Browning with a deep drop. Wide throw. Skipped in there. Sort of short, a short completion to try to get you yards after the catch. They're perfect on third down today. That includes a long third down conversion earlier in this half. Conservative play call. It's a screen to Bocelli, who Daniel gets for Washington. Washington State uses two punt returners, Travell Harris and Kyle Sweet. Sweet is the more sure-handed of the two, and he's back to watch this one bounce. Takes a good bounce for the Huskies. Inside the 20, down to the 12 champion. What I think helped make their case. Start this drive from their own 21-yard line. Gardner Minshew over the middle. It's the crossing to Martin, who's promptly pulled down by... Minshew lofts it up, picked off by Ben Burr Kirvin. He got drilled by Levi Onzerike. And the ball fluttered up there, picked off by the senior Burr Kirvin. The first poor decision that he's made all night. Really trying to force this football to the shallow cross. And this is what happens. And there's Onzerike. Matched up one-on-one -on -one with Frederick Mauingoa. 
And look at it, it's really a pick stun, and it's actually designed not for him, but for Ryan Bowman on the outside, but he finds his way through the protection and an offensive line that has just done such a good job. Take advantage year. the way the Cougars just did. Inside the 30, the drive begins out of the eye with a Gaskin run. Room off the left side to stick his nose down and a gain of eight. And it looks like this is going to be coming back. Two, 10 yard penalty. First down. I believe it might have been Caleb McGarry as the guilty part. You're not here. utilizing the proper technique, you don't have the right footing. Of course, you're going to end up grabbing to try to do your job. On first and 20, a drop play. Gaskin can't get away. Four downs are in play here. Second and 19. Gaskin. Short game with a stop from Skyler Thomas. 35 yard line, really not close to field goal range in these conditions. Browning to the outside. That's wide of Ty Jones. Defense stays out there on fourth down. Could you see a quick kick? Of course. Quarterbacks love doing that, don't they? Oh, too I much. Mean, you'd rather, you'd rather go, but you get to do that every now and then. Not trailed in this game. Gardner Minshew, fresh off the interception, hands it off. Williams, a big hole into the secondary. Having Gardner Minshew, it's, it's the fact they've played a lot closer games and are giving themselves chances going into the fourth quarter. Five blockers on five men in the box, so they run it again. But Ryan Bowman able to shed the block and has gone on. Fourth quarter will begin with a second down and nine for Gardner Minshew and the Cougars. He pumps short and throws short to Tate Martin. Conditions like this, turnovers have been part of the story. Three on both sides. Bernard Bell motions across the formation on third and four. Minshew finds Martin crossing, pulls the trigger now. It's picked off again. Elijah Molden. Really on the field is a catch interception. First down. The third interception today thrown by Gardner Minshew. Did the ball hit the ground? Yeah, I think it's pretty definitive there. The ruling on the to. field that the Washington player caught the ball is under review. Yeah, that one looks like you're right. It's going to be overturned. All of them prolific. All of them have struggled After in this review, game. It's been determined that the ball went through the re receiver's hand, hit the ground, therefore it can complete. That's a good punt. Fuller backing with a fair catch at the 11. Seven yard line, first and 10 for Washington. Here comes Gaskin. Bouncing outside, trying to run around strong. Angled out of bounds, closes in yard seasons. He's got three tight ends in the game to help. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. On third and one, Gaskin behind Jacob Kaiser explodes. There goes Miles Gaskin. Will they track him down? Inside the 10. He's in. Touchdown on an explosion from Miles Gaskin. An 80 yard touchdown, his third of the game. Let's take another look how this play was so effective. It's called a counter play. So you're going to see Kaiser wrap back around and you get all the defenders to move this way and it helps create a seam for Gaskin out the backside. Marcus Strong probably had the best chance of making a play but he had outside contain so really now it's a foot race and he's just doing the best he can to catch up with Gaskin. What is, if you don't get it. Touchdown and a two point conversion and a field goal with a tie. It's a moot point now. Athlete. Yeah, look, he's got a future on Sundays. I mean, you look at his productivity, it's a lot of carries, but he can do a lot of different things. He's effective in the run game, but he can catch the football too out of the backfield. High kick angled away from Travell Harris. That's Keith Harrington getting his hands on it. And you can tell that traction is hard to come by at this point. Time for a game break with Chip. 
How about that defense after making a change at coordinator Ruffman at McNeil now taking over. It's a lot of points, but at least they're making some plays. 12 24 left to go in this one. Gardner Minshew and the Cougs trying to get things going offensively. Max Borgie out of the backfield gets six. What's Washington? Max six? Borgie out of the backfield, and he had to elude a couple of defenders in order to make that happen. Second and four. Underneath, Jackson can't get it. Third down, 42 tonight. Credit to this Washington defense. Which will bring four on third down. Jackson this time has it on the slant to keep the drive alive to the 34. You're looking at the skill guys. Every single one of them besides Max Borg is from a warm weather climate. Here's Williams. Spins his way free. Breaks a tackle for a first down here. The ball at the 46. Back to the ground. Williams shut down this time by Keith Taylor. Down and nine. Washington State trying to keep its college football playoff aspirations alive. Trying to do it come from behind fashion. Minshew in trouble and sacked by Tryon. Passing situations. First sack tonight for Washington. Well, they've had Minshew moving off his spot throughout the night. And third long. He's got time to throw. Has to check it down to Williams who stumbles. And it'll be four inside nine minutes now. Gisevich has had a good day. Catches it cleanly, which is no small thing in these conditions, and sends another good one to Fuller. The sure handed fair catch. Defense as well, after that last drive, and what we've seen tonight. Miles Gaskin. That's stopped by Peyton Pullour. It is Achmel with a hole off the left side, using that speed to turn the corner for a first down. To do it more so, it's something he's got to work on over his career. You worry, especially on a night like this, the snow keeps thickening. It's like snowballs falling right now. Ahmed again, left side. With six more yards. Second and four. Washington State badly needs a stop. Ahmed's got a first down. An opportunity to beat Washington, go to the championship, but a loss. Gaskin just back to the line of scrimmage. Again in front of second down and nine. They run the ball six consecutive plays, make it seven. Gaskin tackled by Pelour. It's third down. Keep it on the ground with a tenth consecutive run. Ahmed trying to get the edge and does with a back-breaking first down. On third and four and a half, just two timeouts for Washington State. All that stunting up front, all that pre snap movement. Ahmed able to dance his way free. And he's carrying a heavy he routes like a wide receiver. And so pick your poison. How, how do you want to try to cover him? And how you got to kind of look for where to find him? Three catches tonight, but for 108 yards. Gaskin hit in the backfield. It's Dating back a couple of drives, a 14th consecutive run. Miles Gaskin is close. We'll see where they spot it. They do try the sneak. Kate Otten in there pushing Jake Browning as far as he could. Every little bit helps. This is going to be close, though. Check out number 87. This is legal now. You can go ahead and push the ball carrier. Can't pull him. See how he's kind of tilting to the right side as Drew Samples helping out as well. It is frozen. First down. Too, you got to look at who he had. His sophomore year, everyone wanted to hold him to that standard where he threw for what 43 touchdown passes. You know, John Ross and Dante Pettis are playing on Sundays now. It's hard to replace those guys. Ahmed, right side. Inside the 10, first and goal. Coming to Seattle at the same time. It's kind of like he's like mini Chris Peterson in the way that he carries himself. There's Ahmed inside the five. It reminds me of Kellen. He's meant so much to him. The chances now for Washington State and even the Pac-12 of having a playoff team obviously go down with Washington State's chance. Cup. The sixth in a row, the ninth of the last ten. And in a year where they were ranked six to start this season and had college football playoff aspirations, legitimate ones. Discipline.